Station Houston for Koichi Sama. Are you ready for the event? Houston uh, Station, yes, I am ready for the event. JAXA, this is Mission Control Houston. Jackson, Please call station for a voice check. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is JAXA, Scuba Space Center. How do you read me? JAXA, Scuba Space uh, Space Center, Mukai san, I have you loud and clear. Thank you. Wakata san, Hello, Wakata san, this is Dr. Chiaki Mukai. I am here at the Space Experiment Laboratory of Tsukuba Space Center with members from Japanese organization related to human health and also students from elementary and junior high schools participating in Mission X program. We have just finished an exciting discussion to talk about human health in space and on the ground. And we did a little exercise for Mission X. Now we are excited to talk with you. Shall we start? And we are going to have about 10 people asking questions to you. Our first question, I am Shinichi Nagano, an exercise demonstrator. Is it possible to use a rubber tube for exercise in space? Thank you. Very good question. Exercise using tube is very much possible. And as uh, astronaut Furukawa talked about uh, our exercise machine that we used here for uh, muscle exercise, and here I have a rubber tool that is used for stretching, and so we can do exercise using this kind of tool. We also do jogging and cycle type of exercise machine, and we use uh, this kind also kind of uh, uh, spring uh, type of equipment as well in order to maintain muscle and in order to prevent uh, reduction of the muscle and also the bone mass. So we use treadmill and also other kind of uh, resistant uh, type of uh, equipment for exercise. I am Masako Tanabe from Radio Calisthenics Association in Soka City. When you use exercise machine in space, are there any differences to uh, keeping the center of gravity of your body between on the ground and in space? Well, that's a really wonderful question. Thank you. On the ground, for example, uh, you may do exercise like uh, using weight, like a dumbbell, to lift weight. However, we cannot do that in space. Therefore, what we do is to do um, resisting with the air pressure, so that kind of a different kind of loading system we use for exercise. And what's important here is uh, this is resistive uh, uh, equipment, and this is for uh, strengthening uh, the lower leg. So you try to raise your heel to uh, exercise your lower leg. And you have to think about the muscle that you want to strengthen, and also uh, like a spine or at uh, the thigh, it is important to have the load where you want to strengthen. So you have to think about the center of gravity and also rotation angle and also the direction that you move. So we have to be very careful about the direction when you uh, do those kind of exercises. I am Yoshi Hirokaya from Japan Barrier Free Association. I have muscle dystrophy, and I cannot raise anything that is heavier than chopsticks, and I need 24-hour care on the ground. And can patients like me live without being cared for in space? 
kind of a stress level. I am Masuda from Japan Health Promotion and Fitness Foundation. What exercise should we do to avoid being bedridden even if you are aged? Thank you very much for a wonderful question. I am not an expert in exercise, but I, I think I'm doing quite a lot of exercise. That, but uh, what's important is, I think, enjoying the exercise. So even if it's not a quite a lot of exercise, but it's important to do exercise regularly that you enjoy. And on top of that, it's important to have a good, healthy food and also sufficient sleep. So exercise, food, and sleeping, those are important not only in space but also on the ground. So I also pay attention to those three factors. I am Haruki Watanabe from Yatabe Elementary School. Please tell us about your childhood days when you were in elementary school. What made you want to be an astronaut? And what kind of efforts did you make to be an astronaut? Thank you for the good question. Well, when I was little, I used to run around on the field. I used to catch insects or crabs, or I flew model planes and run around. So that was the kind of kid that I used to be. And when I was five years old, I saw Apollo landed on the moon on TV. At that time, Mr. Mori or Mr. Mukai was not, were not uh, traveling to space, so I thought that the space was out of reach. However, since I was very little, I was very much interested in aeroplanes, so I studied very hard for that. So I studied in order to be an engineer for airplane, and my experience as an uh, aeroplane um, engineer uh, helped me to be an astronaut. So whatever it is, something that you study very hard is going to be useful for the future. So it's important for you to have a strong target and work toward it and believe in it. I am Karin Hayashida uh, from Uedo Elementary School. Do you plan any special methods to lead the crew from Russia and the United States as an ISS commander? Again, thank you very much for a wonderful question. Now, uh, there are crews from U.S. and Russia and six crew members, including myself, are working here, and each one of those crew members have great capability. They are wonderful uh, members. In order to do a good job as a good team, it is important what each of the crew members have, the target and for what they are working toward. So understanding them is very important. And we want to be, I want to be supportive for them to achieve their goals. And by doing that, we can get a trusting relationship. And by building trusting relationship, we will have a very good work as a team in order to use the International Space Station as a whole. So enhancing trusting relationship between team members is very important. And it's not limited to crew members, but also all the control center on the space and also engineers, all the people who are related to this work. And that kind of very big teamwork is going to be very important, and that's what I value. I am Yuko Kondo of Higashi Elementary School. I think mankind will live in space in the future. At that time, do you think they will live in zero gravity or with some kind of artificial gravity? 
Kondo-san, that's a very interesting question. And I don't think there is an answer to that question. Maybe Dr. Mukai, who is there, have experienced a non-gravity environment here, and also like Mars or Moon, which is less, less gravity, and Dr. Mukai have continued her study in that kind of area. And when we see the answer findings from those studies, probably we will have answer to your question in the future. And what's interesting is that humankind can adapt to zero gravity environment quite quickly. Therefore, in the future, probably we human beings will be able to adapt to the environment that we would travel in the future. And probably human will evolve according to new environment eventually. Thank you very much for your very wonderful question. I am Yoshitake Sato from Minami Elementary School. Uh, do you have any favorite saying, proverbs, or mottos? And when you face some difficulties, how do you overcome these difficulties? Mr. Sato, thank you very much for your wonderful question. What I always value, and actually there are three important words that I value, dream, exploring spirit, and thoughtfulness. In order to achieve something, it's important to have very clear dream or target and work toward it, and then you will see the path that reaches you that to the dream. And when you have difficulties, if you value the exploring spirit, you always think how you can overcome those difficulties and work toward the dream or the target. And also in your work or uh, in your life, there are only limited things that you can do by yourself. But by joining power with other people, you can have very big power as a team. Therefore, thoughtfulness or consideration to your friends, colleagues, are very important. And that's how I value in my work and my life. So in my life in space, I work very hard with those three mottos in my mind. Thank you very much for a wonderful question. Mr. Wakata, thank you very much. We are always in support of you, and you are going to work as the first Japanese commander on the International Space Station. We have about two minutes, so please send us some message from you from space. Well, first of all, thank you very much for participating to this event on the theme of exercise and health. Mukawa-san, um, Furukawa-san, and Jaksa-san, I believe, have gave you uh, some lectures and you had some talk on health on those themes, and health is very important in space, too, and I pay attention to health. So I also have shown you some exercise equipment that we use in space, so regular exercise and also healthy food and sufficient sleep. Those are very important for your health, so I hope that you also pay attention to those uh, three factors. And those of you who are participating to this program, you, each individual, have great power, great potential, and especially children, please analyze by yourself what kind of person you are and see the dream that you want to work towards and continue a hard work towards the future. And also, I believe that those children who are here, maybe in the future you some of you would join me in space to do uh, this work, this kind of work. Thank you very much for your participation to this program. Thank you very much, Mr. Wakata-san. I believe that you are hearing 
a great cheers and claps from here. I hope that you continue to have good health and do your good work. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm hoping to see you again and hope for your good health. Goodbye. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. Station. We are now resuming operational audio communications.